Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Hostess Laurel Gray, and today we are talking all about a lovely topic called Google Search Console. If you don't have Google Search Console yet, you'll be happy to know that it's absolutely free and it doesn't take very long to set up for your business. So here's what we're going to cover on today's episode. Get ready. Why you absolutely need to have this tool in your business. What your webmaster likely won't tell you or isn't telling you. Getting rid of bad technology behavior once and for all. Accessing Google Search Console. Navigating the dashboard. Adding your first site and verifying your property. Linking your property back to Google Analytics. Linking your property then to your website for tracking. And finally, monitoring on an ongoing basis. All right, so without further ado, let's get started on today's episode. So why do you absolutely need to have this thing called Google Search Console in your business? Well, first of all, it's absolutely free. Secondly, it's the way that Google knows how to read your site in its search. And it's a really important piece that a lot of web developers don't actually pass on to their clients, at least here in Australia. Um, the great thing is that as a business owner, you can actually get it set up for your business, and it doesn't take very long. It's completely free and it can be linked up to your existing Gmail or Google Apps for Work G Suite account. And you can monitor basically all of your web properties for search. Google Search Console is also the place where you basically can change your international targeting. So let's say you're a website that is a .com.au. Automatically, Google is going to know that you have an Australian-based website. But let's say you have a .com website and you're based out of Australia. You actually have got to inform Google and let them know that your website is based here in Australia for local search. And Google Search Console is the place where you make that change. In addition, Google Search Console is going to tell you every single website on the internet that it's crawled that has a link back to your website. It will give you important information on keywords. So what people are searching for when they do find your website in Google search, and so much more. It's all for free, seriously. So if you don't have your laptop out in front of you, you've got to go and get it right now. Follow along with this video and make sure that you get everything set up today. Now, before we jump in on all the action and I head to my computer, I want to have a quick heart-to-heart -heart chat with you about what your webmaster isn't telling you. I've seen it time and time again. Often, when a web developer or a webmaster, I know it's a little bit of an outdated term, when they hand over a website to a client, there are two things that I often see missing. The first being Google Analytics. Either the webmaster will set up Google Analytics for the client or for your website, and they won't pass it to you, or they never will set it up at all. The second thing is Google Search Console. Um, and in the back end, your Google Analytics and your Google Search Console are linked together. And they both provide you with absolutely important statistics that you have to have as a website owner. So I'm here to tell you today, you've got to go in and check on this. I'll show you a quick app on the computer with how you can check to see whether or not Google Analytics has been installed on your site. The only way to tell if Google Search Console is, in, is sort of installed um, is by logging into your Google account to see if you have access. Google Search Console is not something that um, it's like you get a you get something installed on your website for it. Basically, Google is tracking it along the way, and when you verify your property with Search Console, it's giving you access to all of those statistics. So you get a retroactive dashboard showing you all the searches and the statistics um, just by verifying your site. So. Even if your web developer has done a great job developing your site, you've got to always double check when you're getting a website developed that they do pass on all of this important information. Okay? Now, lastly, the thing I want to chat with you about is also getting rid of bad behavior around technology. So on that previous discussion, 
I get a lot of people that come to me and say, oh, I just don't know how to use the technology. I'm just not good with that stuff. And really, implementing tools like Google Search Console are a lot about mindset. All it takes is one quick installation, and then you'll have access to it for the life of your website. So there's no reason for you not to just overcome that fear. Log in today. I'm going to walk you through step by step and get you going. Um, I know it's challenging. It's tricky. You probably think, oh, I have to get a search engine marketer to come and look at my business. I've got to pay an SEO expert. I've got to do all these things. But really, this is something that you can do today to monitor the traffic to your site and get a better outcome for both your rank in Google and creating content that really will work for your business going forward. What I would love to do is take a very short break, and then when we come back, we're going to go into Google Search Console, and I'm going to walk you through a little bit longer session on how to actually set it up and get your property verified. I'm Laurel Gray, and you're watching Teach Me Tech. Hello, and welcome back to Teach Me Tech. I'm Laurel Gray, and today we're talking about Google Search Console, the ultimate portal for search information around your website. Before the break, we had a little bit of a chat around getting rid of that bad technology behavior. And I hope that you're pumped up, you're ready, you're feeling motivated to go and grab all the information that you need to get started. I'd like to hop onto my computer um, and not only walk you through how to access Google Search Console, but walk you through on the things that you need to have in place before we get started. So we'll hop on. You can see that I've got my Cloudflare account here. Now, in order for you to access Google Search Console, you're going to need to do a couple of things with your actual domain name. One could be accessing the DNS. So the DNS could be hosted with Cloudflare, or it could possibly be hosted where your domain is registered. The other thing that you might want to pull up is google.com forward slash analytics. Now, I've done another video on Teach Me Tech around how to set up Google Analytics for your business. So you can always just log in just by going to google.com forward slash analytics and then clicking on analytics. And it should load up all of our information here. Oh, let me just save the preferences. And we see here I've got my website loaded in for demo company. So that's great. When you're setting up Google Search Console, you're able to verify ownership either by adding a text record or a CNAME record to your DNS, possibly by Cloudflare. Um, or you can verify by your Google Analytics property. So don't worry, you don't need to actually have access to your website. All you need is access to your domain. All right, so what we'll do here is load up our Google Search Console. Now you'll notice here that I'm logged in as admin at demo.company. There's Colin Firth, my favorite man. And I'm actually logged physically into my Chrome browser using admin at demo.company. It's a little bit small, but I've got that's at the upper right-hand corner. You can see there's a little cat icon, and that means I'm logged into my demo company G Suite or Google Apps for Work account. Alternatively, you could run all of this through a free Gmail account, but you do need to make sure that you're logged into Google Chrome or another browser, but I recommend Google Chrome, as the actual address that you want to use. All right, so I'm logged in now as admin at demo.company, and I'll just type into the search bar here, Google search console. Now, Google Search Console used to be known as Google Webmaster Tools because it was sort of the central location where Google used to um, have webmasters submit information um, into Google Search as just sort of a, a central entry point. Um, as we know, Google has a main mission of wanting to organize the world's information. So this was the way that they did it. Now, keep in mind, nobody really uses that word webmaster anymore. Um, it's a little bit of an outdated term, as I mentioned before. And that's why they've rebranded it to be called Google Search Console. So you can just click on the top link, and that, it'll still take us to the webmasters central. Um, and we see here I actually have already added demo company. I must have been really excited. So what I'll do is I'll just go in, and I'm just going to click on verify so that I can walk you through. Looks like I've done this a while ago. Um, oh, never mind. We'll just we'll verify in a different way. So when you are loaded up into Webmaster Central or Google Search Console, you'll be able to see a screen here that allows you to add different properties. 
and really there are not very many other options on here. Um, that's because Google Search Console is, in general, quite a simple product. So it's not going to be like with analytics where you've got a number of different tabs popping open. Google Search Console just will provide you a list of all of the different products. In order to give you an example of a pre-populated Google Search Console, I've actually just pulled up my own Search Console. Um, and I want to let you guys know, if you are a business that's got a number of domains, this is a great time for you to sort of clear the decks and go in and look for all of those domains that you might own and get them in one place. So that could be that you've got different country TLDs, or maybe you've got my domain rocks, dot rocks. You know, you can have the, all those really cool custom domain name extensions now. Make sure that you've got a whole list of all of the properties for your entire business, including all of the variations. And there is actually no limit to the number of sites that you can have in Google Search Console. It's not like with Google Analytics or some other tools where they cap you. Google Search Console is completely free, and all you're doing is simply just verifying that you are the owner so that you can access the data. Kind of like linking into a secret world of Google. Let's hop on the computer and I'll show you how it looks. So you can see here that I've got a number of pre-populated sites, and it's just going all the way down the page, and it's totally fine. You can have unlimited sites. Um, you see there's one here that's got a little flag, and it says check property health. I'll just make it a little bit bigger. Um, Google Search Console is going to flag when you've got any issues with your properties, and it will let you know. Sometimes it will send you an email, so you've got to make sure. That's why it's important you log in with an email address that you check really frequently. Um, they will send an email when there are property health issues, and they'll also send um, an email to let you know some additional things that you might do in order to optimize your site. So it's important to get it all loaded in correctly. The other thing that I want to show you on the screen here um, is that you can actually sort your properties by property health. And you can see I've got a set here at the top, and that's coming up at the, uh, in the beginning, because your property set is going to be a combination of multiple sites that you have for a specific business. So let's say you've got a business demo.company, demo.com.au, demo.co.nz, demo.us, demo.com. You could put all of those domains underneath one property set to make your search console viewing much more simple. Um, so you just basically can get an idea. You can sort by property health. You can sort alphabetically. You can view it as a list, or you can view a detailed view. And that's where you see Google is fetching and rendering websites, not for the sets, but it will fetch and render different websites you can see here um, that have got images popping up. And for example, you see I've got here acquisity.com and acquisity.com.au. Um, these are just examples. And they actually are pointing to the same website, but we still want to keep all of the variations loaded into Search Console so that it will pick up on any errors. It's just kind of like taking all the effort away so that you don't have to worry about the health of your website. All right, so now that you've got an idea of how it looks, let's go back to our example under Demo Company. Um, and you can see here that I've already got demo company loaded. So rather than me removing the whole thing and then re-verifying, what I'll do is I'll use a different... To continue enjoying this presentation, download Brin, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Brin.ai or search the App Store today.